Hey guys, I see a lot of confusion online and on Facebook and stuff about guys when it comes time to shim your uh, diffs on your low C SCTE 3.0 and people don't understand because it's not clear in the instruction manual but it does include shims and it does um, it does give you the option if needed um, I had a rear diff blow out shortly after I bought the truck uh, because I, I didn't shim it properly and you definitely need to shim them and depending on how loose it is, every housing's different, and every diff's probably a little different too. So you might need one, two, or even three shims um, moving the ring gear, or the crown gear, closer to the pinion gear, and I'll show you guys how to do it. It's very simple. Here's, your, here's the rear diff I'm working on. Here's the side of the ring gear. And what you wanna do is you put the shims on this side behind the bearing moving the ring gear closer or tighter into the pinion making the mesh good and tight you want a little bit of backlash but not very much so take your diff here's a shim one two I'm gonna use three that's what I've been using. It's been good. Take your aluminum or, or your stock one. This is an aluminum one. Oops. Put the bearing on. Make sure it seats all the way. Okay. Take your aluminum or your, or your plastic piece. Push it on. Okay, make sure it's seated. Get your rear diff housing. And there's the keyed slots uh, where it keys into the actual housing. These are a little tricky to line up. But I start with the side away from the pinion. And I get it started. Just slightly started, get the other side started, go back, snap, snap, okay, now this, make sure everything feels good and loose, and make sure it's seated all the way back on both sides. Now this is where you feel for play in the diff in the housing. Grab it side to side like this and rock it side to side, no play. Then this is how you feel for backlash. Grab these, grab your out drives between your fingers and twist the pinion. And you'll hear a slight tick, 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 tick back and forth. And that's your backlash. It's similar to your spur gear and your pinion gear where you want a little bit of play, but not much. So once that feels good, you put your other half of the diff housing on, seat it all the way, because that can change things, and do the same thing again. Hold it tight, hold the out drives, twist the, the uh, pinion gear, and make sure there's just slight play, and that's it, you're done. That's what you want to do, and that's how you want to set up your rear diff and your front diff. Make sure you're good to go. All right, later.